je ne pense pas que je puisse jamais connaître un moment de bonheur plus intense que celui où je viens vous présenter le projet de constitution pour l'euro. The former president of France was named president of a convention composed of 105 members from 28 European countries. At his side were two vice presidents with long experience of government and different political outlooks. Jean-Luc de Hane and Giuliano Amato. The assembly of the convention brings together representatives of national governments, members of the commission and members of national and European parliaments. They come from the 25 states that make up the enlarged union, plus Bulgaria, Romania and Turkey, who all want to join. Former Taoiseach John Bruton represents ordinary members of the national parliaments at presidium meetings. He also has another mission, to do all he can to ensure that the Irish people never again say no to Europe, as they did in the first referendum on the Nice Treaty. We're having the second referendum on the Nice Treaty in the near future, so we have to be really uh, in top form in terms of being informed about what's happening and presenting the case. In February, when Giscard returned to Brussels, the threat of a war in Iraq hung over the convention. The crisis divided Europe into three camps. The French and Germans advocated a powerful Europe with its own viewpoint. They were opposed by the strongly pro-American British and Spanish, and the smaller countries were subjected to pressure from both sides. The delegates stopped talking about the possibility of a common foreign policy for Europe. The American media launches an onslaught against those in Europe who oppose the use of force in Iraq. Progress in the convention slows down. France and Germany propose that the Commission President be elected by a three-fifths majority of the Parliament after an election. This will not give the people a real say. Bovendien is dit in het nadeel van de kleine landen die beter aan bod komen in een commissie dan in een raad en bij een roulatiesysteem. I believe that the system of rotation is the only one guaranteeing a true equality of member states, big and small, northern and southern. This system ensures that every member state has the right to share the European Union. J'ai confiance dans l'avenir de l'Europe parce que j'ai confiance dans la solidité de la relation franco-allemande. Je vous remercie. The French and German leaders presented their vision of Europe. They want a double presidency, a president of the European Commission, elected by the European Parliament, and a president of the European Council, elected by the leaders of national governments. They also want an EU foreign minister. The dangers for decision-making and clarity of having two presidents with ill-defined responsibilities were obvious.